Everybody in Africa is rooting for you. They want you to win. When you're running, do you feel, and winning, do you feel you're winning for Africa, for Ethiopia? Of course, uh, uh, first for Ethiopia, after for Africa. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, not only Africa, you know, from all of the world, people are uh, enjoying, you know, especially people who love running, uh, athletics, so they follow, you know. Mm -hmm. My fans, my followers, is not only from Africa and Ethiopia, so I have from all of the world, you know, some you know, followers and their fans, so. I think uh, I'm happy to run in front of them and uh, giving them some motivational uh, uh, speech or you know showing them uh, running. Do you feel the love? Do you feel the support? Of from course, the... yes. Yeah. I, because I I get every time when I go to somewhere you know for competition, any country you know I see the people how they are really interested in the you know loves you, you know uh, around the sports. So. Yeah. I, I, I know this. How did you get the love for running? When did you start? Uh, early age, like uh, 15, 16 years, when I was uh, in uh, high school. Uh, I was playing with uh, my friend, you know, with teachers in the high school. They, especially my sport teacher, uh, saw me in the, you know, when during I was playing football with, uh, with them and uh, advised me to Maybe if I train with running than football, I, I will going to I will be maybe successful, you know. So his uh, advice, uh, of course, you know, work it. He, he that saw way. that you had the you had it in you. He saw the talent. Yes, he saw my you know my uh, activities and uh, advised me to uh, train mm. maybe athletics. If I join athletics. In the future, I have a good opportunity to maybe become successful. Did you ever dream that you achieve what you've already achieved at this point? Uh, of course, you know, I did everything, you know, from cross country, uh, indoor, world championship, Olympic. Marathon, nothing else. So maybe I want to, you know, do something more. Mm. But uh, I did everything, but uh, you know, nothing left me away. But what legacy do you want to leave behind? How do you want people to remember Kenanisa Bekele? Uh, you know, that's you know, I, I did already my job. Uh, after you know, remembering maybe I said to. Young generation, or you know, people who love, uh, especially sport, athletics. I think uh, after this, you know, they're uh, accept to them. You know, if they want to motivate their uh, their kids and uh, you know, for new generation, maybe they can use uh, whatever you know what I did. Maybe they can advise their, their uh, you know young generation. So. In terms of advice, what does it take to become a great runner? Is it physical or mental? I think you need everything because if uh, physically you are not ready, you cannot do anything. Uh, physically, mentally, you need to ready. You need to really focus and uh, have a big hope and a future. You know, you have to happy what you are doing and uh, with your uh, activity you have to really hope uh, I can do it you know you have to uh, tell yourself anything if you do hard and if you are uh, disciplined you can uh, success you can uh, uh, bring success you know so you have to motivate mentally physically of course everything you need now, Kenya and Ethiopia are known as the two running powerhouses in Africa. They produce great runners like yourself who have brought, broken world records. What is it about these two countries? What is it that you do in Ethiopia that you have you've been able to produce great runners like yourself? Of course, we are neighbors and uh, same. we live in uh, 
similarly in the same weather condition same uh, life uh, Run, style you know, without shoes, shoes in yes. ethiopia yeah. and uh, ethiopia and uh, kenya yeah, or marathon yeah, yeah. neighbor countries like borders mm. we do uh, long work like hard job you know in the, in the, in, the, in the country so i think we learn also from each other and uh, follow each other and like as a role model you know we we have some uh, big names big athletes so kenya also ethiopia that's why young generation follow you know the role models because of that everyone involved in trainings in the discipline you know so i think this is a uh, that's why it's a success big success comes you know in Ethiopia and uh, Kenya when you were growing up who was the person that you were looking up to who was your role model in terms of running whose record that you wanted to beat uh, not actually to beat but uh, just our role models like uh, Abebe Bikila running without the shoes, shoes yes. uh, winning a uh, uh, Rome marathon Moruz Gifter Fatima yes. Roba. Of course, after also uh, like uh, Gabriel Silase and uh, young, you know, it's like uh, role model, you know, foot stepper, you know, so. Mm. What do you want to do after running? What is it? What, what is life like for Kenanisa after running? After you're not doing, after you take off your shoes and say, "I'm done. I feel like I've achieved everything that I want to achieve." <laughs> Actually, you cannot uh, take off shoes yeah. uh, because for athletes, you know, uh, in your lifetime you have to do sport. You know, you have to uh, run, you have to train, and uh, you have to motivate others. You know, young generation. Uh, some many of them uh, they are coaching now they are advising young generation so this is uh, like our like our uh, part of job you know so maybe I'm I want to enjoy you know uh, running in my lifetime not for result of course mm -hmm. but uh, apart that I, I want to do my jobs you know like my businesses I have hotel businesses and uh, you know like just resorts and export mm. resorts. I want to do such kind of things. And what advice would you give to a young person that is looking up to you to, to give them the motivation? Uh, what should they do to be able to to run on the same level as you have? My motivation to them is uh, they have to listen to their advisors like they need uh, instruct uh, instructor like uh, coach professional people they have to follow they have to meet the professionals and uh, listen what they telling them and uh, be disciplined and uh, uh, make you know big hope mm -hmm. so after they uh, start preparing maybe they have to make big hope in the discipline of course Kenanisa, thank you so much for taking time you, from your busy schedule to come and chat with us today. I really enjoyed talking to you. Yeah, thank you very much. Or oh, as we say, Amasa Ganalo. Amasa Ganalo. Amasa Ganalo. Amasa Ganalo.